Uh, thank you, Speaker. Honorable Speaker, perhaps the liquidation of Aventura Resorts, the stripping of its assets, and their friends' annexation by private companies led in the main of by foreign resorts, exemplifies the tragic story of the retreat of the state from what should be its core function, mm -hmm. and that is the restructuring of the economy to ensure it benefits the common good. That this was done here at the instance of the democratic state led by the movement which calls itself a revolutionary and liberation movement is more tragic. It shows the unmitigated descent of the ANC from a movement of the people to a tool firmly in the hands of capital. Totally, today, the department led by Pravin Gordon wants to hammer the final legislative nail on the process started in 2001 and cemented by another dubious character, Malusi Kikaba, by repealing the overall resort limited act of 1993. Overall result, later named Aventura Result, managed at least 14 public resorts. Most of them acquired and developed after the disposition of African people from their land by the colonial and apartheid government. A mere eight years after the enacted of the act in 2001, the ANC government believed these results were unprofitable and sold them off for the next to nothing to white companies eight of them to a single American company, Forever Resort. Did, they did this with full knowledge that some of these properties were under land claims. So they sold off Bila Bela for peanuts and then bought it back to settle a, claim, a land claim for one billion. If it is not treasonous, then I don't know what treason is. Similarly, there were land claims by Blade Board and Swadini, and these properties are yet to be transferred back to the claimants. In all these instances, however, these white companies were paid handsome amounts of money to settle the land claims, but they have not been removed from the land. They still operate as all, as all is normal and are only supposed to pay rental amounts to, to land claimants. This daylight robbery of public resources for private gain has been facilitated, facilitated by the ANC. Today, Pravin and his people want to continue scraping the state of its invaluable assets and hand this over to their white masters. And the ANC has done order for years. There's a point of order. Yes, Honorable Maloy. Can, can the member refer to Honorable Pravin as Honorable Pravin or Mr., not just Pravin? You know, honorable member, that's, that's how we refer to one another. Honorable Pravin Gordon is a member of this house and therefore should be referred to as such. Mr. Pravin, back in 2002, when the ANC was moving at speed to privatize state enti entities, the late uh, Prof. Sam B. Telebranch asked, I open quote, if the state role in the economy is to be classically reduced, who will fundamentally restructure it? Who will counter the power of the commanding heights and other well-organized pressure groups in the private sector? Who will devise the agent needed developmental state? Who will see that the poorest half of the population does not remain marginalized, improvised, and neglected? This, close quote. This remains an important question to this day in a country with a history like ours. Why is the ANC handing over its developmental function to racist white monopoly capital? Why the Aventura Public Resort have been completely annexed and this bill only seeks to cement that process. We as EFF cannot endorse the massive looting state resources that happened. We as EFF, we reject this bill. Thank you.